This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to Essentially Jacob, my fragrant perfume shrine on YouTube. So, today, well first of all, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can follow me also on Patreon, Super Jacob was spelled together for extra perks. Thank you to my patrons I've already pledged. You guys, this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday on my main channel, on my Super Jacob channel. So everybody come, come on over. Y'all is invited to partake in the convo. Now listen, today we're going to be talking something very interesting. Now, my voice is a little bit down because I'm just recovering from um, the lockdown syndrome, that thing that shall remain unnamed been sick for two weeks my lungs are still healing and so it's it's tough but so my voice is a little bit still messy um bear with me we're going to be talking hypnotic poison today and uh you guys i'm really looking forward to you in the chats because guess what i got uh, uh for i found for a really good price so i i snatched up a bottle a new bottle now Listen, hypnotic poison, 150 ml eau de toilette, and hypnotic poison, 150 ml eau de toilette. So I've been asked for years now to come to people have been asking me, Deco, how is the newest version of hypnotic poison? How is the newest? Have you tried the newest version of hypnotic poison? So like Lucy and, and Desi, like, why can't I be in the show? Why can't I be in the show? Desi, why can't I be in the show? Everybody's like, why aren't you reviewing the new version in your show? Why aren't you reviewing? Well, here we are. Now, uh, this is the batch code 1H01. So this one was produced in August of 2021. So it's, you know, as I'm reviewing this uh, fragrance, it is February 2022. So it is just around about half a year uh, since this batch has been produced the formulation code for this one cha where are you is number 08031/a the most minimal list of ingredients i've ever seen it says alcohol water perfume bht linalol limonen benzyl alcohol and tocopherol that's it bam so this is the batch from august 2021 of hypnotic poison of the toilet 150 mil still sealed we're gonna open it together and then i have the 150 mil hypnotic poison batch code batch code 5y01 this one is from 2015 it's been around the block a couple of times, if you know what I mean. I still got half a bottle here. So, oof, cha. So it's uh, seven years, right? This one has seven years under its belt. And this has already been reformed. This is already a reformulation of a reformulation of a reformulation. But, and mind you, I'm still recovering, but I really am so excited about this. So, uh, you know, I'm going to take one for the team here because my lungs are not thrilled to smell perfume at the moment. Um, but, yeah, well, something's got to kill you, right? So, um, I don't want to break the seal. <laughs> I'm going to keep that little sticklet up there and I'm going to open this sucker from the bottom. As one does, you know... You know she's a bottom. You know hypnotic poison is a bottom. So you, you take it from the bottom. <laughs> so let me... Let me invite... Hi everybody in the chat. Hello. Hello my loves. So... Oh yes baby. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Enough already. With the innuendos and, and the ratchetness. Oh, let me just... Okay. You know what I love about Dior fragrances? They're kind of luscious, glossy packaging always. Oh, hello, hypnotic poise. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Well, hi, you. Oh, okay. Well, <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
uh, what can I say? We'll go, we'll go. A uh, very different, a very different color of red. This is much lighter red with a darker bottom and it's more a translucent type of glass and more spray painted to create this black on red illusion. And look how darker this one is from 20, 2015 has a darker colored glass. Also, they've changed the actual ring around the uh, lid. The 2015 version had the more old school poison um, lid, which is kind of like a slanted little bubble thing. But very straight line. While the 20... Uh, 2021 version has an extra little indentation on the top and on the bottom. See how this one has that kind of clean line there and then down there as well. And here we have indentation and indentation. And this is more gold and this is silver. This is gold and this is silver, actually. And then, uh, yeah, we have the darker bottle all around and the lighter red bottle. And... Oh my god, they changed this as well. Okay, so here we have the golden ring and the golden hypnotic poison font. Here we got the silver ring and the silver hypnotic poison font. It's not in gold anymore. Now, you see, this is a problem for me because, come on. Hypnotic poison, it has to be gold. But it's the same bottle design. The shape of the bottle is the same. It's so bizarre. This lid is darker than this lid, even though this bottle is darker than this bottle. Um, but the shape of the bottle is the same. They didn't change that, you know. But I'm not crazy, right? You guys see the, the, the difference in color, don't you? Okay. Now the moment of truth, because I mean, sure, the bottle design, whatever, right? I mean, even the packaging, even this always changes. But let's see how this baby smells. Okay, I got the 2015 version and here 2021. Okay, silver, silver, silver. So I'm going to spritz a little. Let's de-virginize this bottle. Hmm. Mm hmm I mean, this thing, you know, let's give it some air. Let's give it some air time. Oh my god, it's so... Oh, different. What the hell? I mean, you guys. It's different. Now, you know, let me spray this one. You know what? The drama, Edu. This is so bizarre. Okay, I got to say. Um, so yeah, I'm really annoyed also by the silver. This should be gold. So just, I mean, also because like, oh, it's silver here as well. You know what's funny? Mm, it it has a camphorous note, and it's smoky. It's like a leather, smoky leather in this one. It's very smoky, um, and it doesn't have that sweet, bitter almond 
that is so typical to this one. Right, hold on. Just put this one here. Okay. What the hell? Ta I mean different different um different yeah undeniably different it's like fotini says silver is a bad 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 sign yeah It's lost its Play-Doh note, <laughs> which I don't mind. You know, it's not bitter anymore. That that I gotta say, sometimes I'm annoyed by the bitter almond, like the bitterness of, of how much the 2015 version had in it. What the hell? It's so bizarre, you guys. Debbie says completely different set. Um, it, it's not completely different, but it's like different enough. It's different enough for you to notice that. It's a little bit more camphorous and. Um, smoky, dusty. It's dustier. It's less sweet, but it's also not bitter anymore. It's like become very dry. It's a very dry version of hypnotic poison. For sure, Jesus, it, it might smell different because it's a fresh batch and it didn't get its oxygen yet. But it's dry and dusty and leathery. And the older one is more bitter, almond and vanilla. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. It's different. Um, if you like a drier version of Hypnotic Poison, like dry, dusty, leather, almost tobacco-esque, type of suede leather version of hypnotic poison then this current formulation might be something for you jesus yeah it kind of sounds good it also smells good <laughs> not gonna lie it doesn't smell bad but i mean it doesn't smell bad but it smells different oh fotini says that's not hypnotic that is disappointing poison oh i mean uh, yeah. Barbara says, return to the new one, camphor. I don't mind the new one. It's mature. You know, there's also like a gasoline note in there. A sharp gasoline -y type of note. Yeah, Fatini, there is lack of stability with Dior, for sure, for sure. Let's here's hoping that Mr. Francis Kurjan uh, does things better now that he's there. You know, in fact, one of the reasons why I wanted to pick up uh, this hypnotic poison was like, okay. I want to know now from the moment on that Demashi is on board, I want to see how he's going to play with hypnotic poison. If he not, sorry, not Demashi is on board. Now that Demashi is gone, now that Kurjan is on board, is he going to tweak this? So I wanted to have the last iteration of it. And then let's see. I'm liking it. <laughs> You guys, 
<laughs> I'm really liking it. It's, um... It's almost like they tried to give Hypnotic Poison a niche quality. I doth, I doth liketh uh, the new one. I really do. It's settling really nicely. Dusty, smoky, leathery. It, it got a little something, something, you know? And I don't, you know what, you guys? I don't mind that it doesn't have that... Um, extreme bitter almond play doughy note that it had in the past. Quite synthetic. Um, this new one is chill. It's also lighter. So you're not gonna, you know, a lot of people are gonna be like, mm, hypnotic poison lighter? Yeah, it is lighter. Ah, oh, it's not bad, you guys. I mean, <clears throat> it's like it's a flanker of itself. It's still hypnotic poison, but it's more rounded, kind of softer and drier. It it Ariel Ariel says it's fruity, makes me nauseous. Well, nuts are fruits, by the way. So, almonds are fruits. Um, it's not bad. I Listen, you guys, um, try it out. I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I'm not not liking it. Um, Well, Jesus says, contrary to popular belief, hypnotic poison has never been that strong of a perfume. Okay, well, hypnotic poison on me, it don't go away. If I spray it on, I still have it on me the next day. This <clears throat> iteration of it, this formulation of it, in from August of 2021... It's not bad. Now the, the bitter almond is coming out slowly. Mm, it's smoky. I mean, huh? Who would have figured? Who would have figured that it could have it, it? It's tweaked in a nice way, you guys. <clears throat> they didn't butcher it. And now it's slowly turning vanillic. It's still smoky, but with a vanilla undertone. Interesting. Like a burnt vanilla. It's like a burnt vanilla, woodsy, like has a, a woody, smoky. You know what, girl? Yes, yes, a uh, queen. Yes, queen. Because I'm surprised. Hmm? It does. It doth make the mouth water a little bit as well. It has a gourmandy touch to it. Yeah, Edu says uh, the vintage one lasts an eternity on my skin. On my skin too. Even the 2015 version lasts forever on my skin. But 2021. You guys, um, you know, don't uh, discredit this one that easily, that quickly. It has something. It has something going for it. <clears throat> Ophelia says, "I just do one spray, and it's enough for me. It stays on all day, or I have to take a bath." Yeah, yeah, it's very powerful on on me too. Um, Asia says, samples and full-size perfumes may differ. Um, well, usually from my experience, if um, 
if something was more intense, it was the sample. Because they want to sell. So if they're going to make something more concentrated and dense, they're definitely going to make the samples better than they make the sales products. Uh, but usually with really big brands like Dior, Chanel, they would not really risk their reputation like that. So <clears throat> I would hope that uh, Dior would deliver the same quality in a one milliliter vial sample sprayer and a 150 mil bottle. I would hope that they would deliver the same quality, you know, but okay, the vanilla is coming out. The bitter almond is coming out as well now. There's a hint of licorice in there. Um, the Play-Doh note is not prominent in this uh, iteration of the fragrance. It's a sturdy version of Hypnotic Poison. Dare I say, this one leans more towards the OG 90s version than the 2015 counterpart. It's missing the creaminess that we're used to from the 90s version. That supple, sticky, honey, cloying depth of uh, hypnotic poison. Uh, which in the more current iterations has turned into a kind of a chemical version of itself. So <clears throat> you get that a lot in the 2015 version it has a, a chemical note in there that doesn't allow it to become ambrosial um the 90s version was ambrosial it had some like like falling into honey and being like you know you don't get that with the 2015 version the 2015 version stays metallic somehow there's that there's that element <clears throat> of synthetic compounds in there that just don't let it go into that natural feel of suffocating inside honey. But the new version kind of goes closer in the direction. It's still not back in the 90s, okay? We're, we're never going to be back there again, unfortunately. But it's a little bit less metallic. Fotini asks, if it's missing the creaminess, it's a no for me. It has the creaminess, but it's a drier creaminess. It's not bad. Um, no, Jesus, they did not make it smell closer to the EDP. No, no. Mm -mm, no. Mm, it's smokier. Woodsier, smokier. Dare I say a little bit darker. It's a more mature fragrance. Hmm, that's a statement. Might have to smell a new version, says Jack. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. And listen, and this is kind of like the last iteration from the Mashi. So I'm really curious to know, you know, how is Francisco John going to turn this per... Ooh, this is, you know, just like having wafts of it. There's a darkness to it. There's some black wood in there. It's not bad, you guys. It's almost like 
tentatively trying to give us well what would hypnotic poison be if it were niche it give it has a little bit of that niche texture to it i don't mind this i'm glad i got it and i think i'm going to use this one more than than the older one um of course I also still have the 90s uh, Hypnotic Poison. <laughs> I'm not even going to take it out. You know, I have a couple of drops left. Uh, so I, I don't use that perfume anymore. For I know exactly how it smells. And I don't use, I don't waste it for comparisons. Um, but I can tell you, this, the new one, comes closer to the OG than the, the 2015 uh, version. And... <clears throat> You guys, it's good. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. It's, it feels like we're going back to the OG hypnotic poison a little bit. I am so happy that I got this. You know, I got it because it was a really good deal and I thought... Why not uh, compare Demashi's final iteration of Hypnotic Poison with whatever's going to come in the future? And I thought, just from, you know, because I love Hypnotic Poison, so I thought it's good to have it as a reference for me to have that bottle, with this batch code, and then have it for future references, you know. And I thought to have it more as a final chapter of Demashi rather than having it as something that I enjoy. But now, after this first test, I'm like, oh, I actually enjoy it. And I enjoy it a lot. It, it, it gave me that, I don't know, it made me, it's making me feel happy. <laughs> like, happy in the way that I felt with the 90s hypnotic poison. Mm, okay, so let me tell you where it's at. It is a little tiny time capsule of a fragrance. It does. It makes you feel safe, cocooned, warm, slightly fuzzy. There is that typical for hypnotic poison. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, the OG version of the, this is the first thing I would do when I, if I were to work for Dior perfumes, um, they don't do it anymore because it probably costs them too much. But first thing I would do, I would go back to covering up the bottle in nylon. Uh, like kind of, actually it wasn't nylon, it was a rubber coating. So the, or plastic coating. So the bottle was, the OG 90s bottle was kind of covered in a vacuform um, plastic, malleable plastic cover. And then the golden print was printed on top of that. So the bottle was warm to the touch, always. The idea was whenever you touch that bottle, it's warm because you're not touching glass, you're touching that plasticky rubber. And, and it really translated very well the concept of hypnotic poison because hypnotic poison felt like this fuzzy, cocooned, plasticky, nylon pleather as if you were covered in pleather and then you were you would sweat uh, vanilla and almonds bitter almonds a very fascinating concept groundbreaking for the time really uh and the rubberized bottle says jesus yes exactly and ah uh, and this iteration of the perfume brings me back to that time and I can smell when I smell it it feels like we're back in that rubberized nylon-y bottle um, <clears throat> it's good they made it slightly delicate they've taken out that metallic artificiality that we had in the 2015 They've tamed it a little bit, but they've made it 
more pleasant. It's it's more pleasant to to smell. It makes you happy. Um, damn, it's good. You guys. Perfume is happiness in a bottle, says Laura Sparkles. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Vanessa, says the way you analyze perfume is so poetic. Jacob is an artist. Oh, thank you, my love. It's mesmerizing. It's hypnotic. <laughs> it really is hypnotic. And I mean, I mean, I wouldn't be, you know, being so sick as I am right now and, um, you know, smelling perfume is maybe not the healthiest thing for my lungs right now. I still can't help myself. I keep... And I'm not really sniffing this arm that where I sprayed the 2015 version because this one is is um this one is turning more cold and metallic with time while and bitter while this one is a smoky bitter almond vanilla it, it's more close to the og you guys they did a good job they did a good job they did a good job They did a good job. Edu has uh, two vintage uh, hypnotic poisons from the 90s. It's inexplicably good. Uh, I I mean, if you have two bottles, then you can, you know, sp compare spray. <laughs> you can kind of afford to just, you know, spritz two times, you know, without, you know, using it for special occasions only if you have enough bottles still stocked up T to compare it to the uh, current formulation. Um... This definitely, the silver guts to go. I mean, it guts to go. They got to make the writing gold again. Yeah, I mean, Hypnotic Poison needs the gold writing. Honestly, honestly. Look at the difference in the color of the bottles, you guys. It's insane. But even with the color of the bottle, gotta be honest though, this red is closer to the OG red than the 2015 bottle. 2015 is much darker. This is more close to, okay, let me turn them both there, the same. Um, this is the 2021 bottle. This red is closer to the OG Hypnotic Poison Red than this one. Now, not, not, both of them have that stupid fade to black. The OG bottle had no fading. The OG bottle was the same red through and through. And I'm not a big fan of this black fade at the bottom. I mean, it's more kind of like a purple here and here it's kind of more black. But... Um, they have spray painted the glass into this red so you can see that it's been spray painted and then you can see through it when the light is very you know when you shine a light through it you see, you can see through it kind of it's like a sheer you can see through the bottle a little bit and uh, you can barely see through this one this one is has a much heavier coat of of paint um <clears throat> Yeah. Hmm. I. I'm liking it. Sure, it's you know it's not the same like it was in the '90s. Obviously, we weren't. I was not expecting that at all. So it's not like I came into this review thinking, "Oh, I'm going to be so disappointed because you know obviously nothing is going to be like the '90s." Blah blah blah. We know, we know, it's not going to be like the 90s. But what we get here is a 2021 version of Hypnotic Poison. Now, considering that we went through the lockdown, considering that a lot of these brands had to cut down on certain ingredients because of the lockdown and sales of perfumes going down and blah, blah, blah. For a fragrance that was produced in August of 2021, in the worst lockdown situation, um, the fact that this one smells the way it does. I mean, listen, if we had no lockdown for two years, um, 
maybe this one would have smelled more intense. You know, you know what I mean? Like we don't know, but what we're given in 2021, August 2021, is surprisingly good. I did not have high expectations for this one. And so I was pleasantly surprised. Of course, if you have high expectations for Hypnotic Poison, you might be disappointed because this is not the 90s version. But you know what? For what it's worth, for a perfume that's been around since the 90s, uh, the, the, um, the 10s, and now the 20s, this one comes... This one is still a very, very respectable rendition of Hypnotic Poison. And much more pleasant to wear. Um, nicer on the skin. It's a smokier version of it. I, I recommend it. Don't blind purchase it. You might not like bitter almond. But I recommend trying it out. At least going you know, to a, a perfumery and testing out the eau de toilette of Hypnotic Poison. And in this kind of lighter red bottle with the silver text on it. So I'm going to repeat to you the batch code that I got. 1H01. And the formulation number is 08031 slash A. And the 2015 bottle is five Y zero one. So there you have it, guys. <clears throat> Even though I love hypnotic poison, says Vanessa, it's the only perfume that smells bad on my skin. I always felt heartbroken about it. Maybe try this formulation now that it's been tamed. Oh, I did try the Hypnotic Poison Au Sensuel, but they don't make that anymore. It's a good one. It's a good one. And I've also tried the Pure Perfume of Hypnotic Poison. Also amazing. Not in production anymore since years. Perfume is always a reflection of their time. Also a time travel tool. Yeah, totally. And Frau Emily... That smells really good. I'm loving this one! I'm so happy I got it. Hey, Jacob, have you tried the new Miss Dior? I have not tried the new Miss Dior yet. Brockstar likes more the black fade than the purple fade. Yeah. I I think I agree with you. I also kind of prefer this one. It's a bit more rough. Um, but I would prefer no fade at all. I would just like this to be completely red. And I would like the original old stopper, not this, you know. That's so dusty. But I have here... The OG poison stopper from the uh, from the soap. <laughs> I got a little OG poison soap here. It's just been laying around here in the fashion bunker. I have to dust it off, but um, this is the original shape for the stopper. Now that I'm telling you is what they should be doing here and they should bring back the old i've always been annoyed by these reformulated stoppers um i really don't like how aggressively this is like the early 2000s design how aggressively they've designed this edge here like it's so ugly they really did a terrible job with redesigning these stoppers terrible job i really really prefer and i don't like this like pointiness on the sides here I really, really prefer the, um, do I have here more, no, more back here, because you know I have these perfumes, um, but um, I really prefer the OG round stoppers of poison. This thing, it looks like wind blew through it and kind of tore it a little bit, and uh, I don't like that. <clears throat> Oh, wait, Edo says, I just checked. I have the same batch code. Really? You have the same one from 2015? Oh, Edo. Wait, but I thought you said you had the one from the 90s. Happy Days asks, is the bottle meant to be like a poisoned apple like Snow White? Yes. Um, 
<clears throat> so the idea behind the poison bottle, and by the way, back in the day, they spent years developing the concept. Now, obviously, the first bottle is poison. Hypnotic poison came after tender poison. But the OG bottle uh, for the Esprit de Parfum was round like this, and of the poison poison, and all the toilet was more elongated. Now, the idea why they added these four like little claws that are like holding and you know it's like you have a like a, a bar or like a container and then you have these like claws holding it right that's kind of the idea as if you could say fangs of a snake or claws are holding it but also in uh, Edwardian times and even prior to uh, for blind people or people who are illiterate and cannot read if they would buy certain medicine in the pharmacy and poisons certain illnesses would be treated with poisons as well poisons would be sold in bottles that have elevated ridges on the bottle so that even if you're blind or if you're illiterate and you touch the bottle you immediately feel these elevated edges and that tells you immediately there's poison in the bottle so then the designers of the actual bottle for poison took that note that element and implemented that element of the elevated ridges on glass bottles and kind of stylized them morphed them into this kind of twirly version of them and put them on a poisoned apple so there's so many references in this bottle we have the poison apple we have the bottles that con the glass bottles in pharmacies that contain poison reference. We have the reference of venom of a snake because they look like fangs of a snake. Uh, we have um, what other references do we have? Well, that's enough. <laughs> so the fact that they really invested so much time in designing the poison bottles back in you know and listen even even this little soap container it has these little elevated moments here there there you see one two three four but even the soap itself also has the elevated little poison ridges one two three and four oh. it just it's breathtaking breathtaking <laughs> smelling 80s poison you know and this soap is in its plastic foil so it still contains all of its smell none of it has dissipated oh man this thing is gold like it's uh, it's insanely good with all the dust on top, this is so embarrassing. It's been laying around for a while. Anyway, um, oh, give it a go, even in this ugly silver font. <laughs> Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this comparison video. A little bit of a history behind perfumes and the design of the bottles and <clears throat> the history of the of hypnotic poison with its bitter almond and um, complicated complicated vanilla oh little nipple moment yas queen pew 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 <laughs> okay you guys I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have thumb it up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, and until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.